why is there a small core of women having repeat um, abortions? Is the system failing them in some way? Why are, why are figures rising amongst older women who already have families? Um, and I think we need to look at it with, with the, the background of austerity. And we know that since 2010, when austerity started, sexual advice and contraception services have been slashed in the UK. People are having a real struggle accessing these services. And I think, therefore, that this is more uh, a symptom rather than a cause. You know, from since 1967, statistics have been fluctuating and they've stabilised and then they're suddenly going up in the last five years. Why is that? You know, we really need to be a bit more sophisticated about how we look at these statistics. Now, you say that there's no reason to believe that those statistics in the UK would be replicated in Gibraltar, but we don't have statistics in Gibraltar, so it's possible that they could. No, we don't know that for a fact, and that is the reality of it, that, that we only have anecdotal evidence, and we do not know what our statistics are here in Gibraltar. But we do know, if we look at worldwide trends, that whether abortion is illegal or not, abortion rates remain similar in countries with restricted ab abortion laws or with more liberal abortion laws. It does not, in essence, affect the number of people seeking abortions. It's just a question of where are they going to go and seek these abortions? Are they going to go illegally? Are they going to um, access the pills on the internet, online, and therefore those figures are lost completely now? Or are we going to try and have those figures have that service where we are able to advise women better, where we're able to, to, to get women to come and have the aftercare and have the postcare and have the counselling? Are we able to give women all the different options so that indeed they might be able to change their mind and not seek to have an abortion? So we've got no reason to say that they won't or that they will, but if we want to offer a health service for women, if we want to look at their needs, we need to be doing that here. It's been suggested that one of the reasons for the rising abortion rates in the UK is because there's new legislation which will allow women to have an abortion pill so that they can have an abortion at home. Now, this argument is almost academic, isn't it? Because that's not something that's being proposed in Gibraltar under the current legislation. The use of the, the abortion pill, as it's so-called, is, is probably the most effective way of providing a, terminating a pregnancy. It, has, it shouldn't have any effect because the, the legislative changes in the UK, all they did was change the place that the woman could have the second pill, which is a pill that promotes the miscarriage. It's the same pill which is given after women have a natural miscarriage to kind of expel the contents. Of, of the womb. So before it used to be that, that the women used to have to have that in the GP surgery as well after the first pill. And often what would happen is that they would bleed on the way home, um, on the train, and it would be really, really distressing because it has quite a rapid effect. So the only change was that they said now women, they will still be prescribed that pill, they'll still be given it by the GP, but they will be able to have it at home with telephone support. So it shouldn't affect the figures. It's just, you're just kind of doing it in a different location um, and I would have thought because it, it can work very early on in pregnancy we would hope that actually that would be the preferred option in the first trimester trimester terminations here in Gibraltar as well.